I totally forgot about this opening. Hey all, welcome to Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I have a little bit of a break in between games, you know, things kind of happen. Oh yeah, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. This is technically a successor slash pseudo sequel to the original Donkey Kong in, from 94 on the Game Boy. Except this time around, Donkey Kong is like, I'm going to steal everything because the toys are sold out. <laughs> that is his total reasoning. The toys are sold out. And I love this because... Yes, the toads are screaming horrific murder in my ears. I'm so sorry. But yes. And they're probably screaming horrific murder in your ears unless they turn down the game, which I normally do. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah. Doggy Hong steals the toys, which is the best because they're sold out. That's the reason he stole the toys. They're sold out. <laughs> so he turns around, looks on the other side of the street to where they make the toys. How are they sold out? <laughs> they're right across the street. Just go across the street. Be like, hey, they're sold out. When is your shipment coming? I don't know. Uh, maybe tomorrow or whatever. We're making them right now. They'll be there. And nope. Duncan Kong's like, I must have them all. Have them all. Have them all. So yes, this is, like I said before, the successor to Donkey Kong. This is like pretty much just shows you all the controls. It shows you like how things work. You just need the key to get to the door and you just go. The only thing is when Donkey Kong goes through the doors, he drops presents as well as a toy. So you need to find all the presents if you want to get like the best score possible, which in this case, you can kind of just go any which way in order to get there. So it's just like whatever. I mean, normally what you will need to do here is just kind of hit this button and then jump around and just do that. But yeah, that's pretty much like how that all works. But the neat thing about like, the neat thing about this game though is that again, you could go any which way you want. I mean, right now I could just jump up and grab the toy and be done with it. Or I can go over here, grab the present and then just do whatever I want. But in this case, I'm just gonna go and grab that and then grab this. And that just completes the first level. I don't really have to go up all the things. There are a lot of acrobatic skills that this game teaches you later on through like little tutorials. And that's essentially what I'm using because it plays the exact same as the original Donkey Kong for me back when you just hold the down button, you hit the jump, and then you'll just do like the handstand, then you could do like the extra little things. But yes, this score actually listed in red. What that means is that, is this the one where he swaps them? Uh, stop arrow. Okay, so I just hit the button there. There we go. Um, uh, yes. When the score turns red like that, this means I get a gold star. Obviously, gold starring every single level is better because you're gonna have to do it anyway for completion's sake if you want to anyway. Or you can just beat the game. Oh yeah, beating the game, there are six worlds. It doesn't really show, like, what they are yet because I can't click on them. But yeah, we are going through pretty much what is considered the toy company at this point, which... I don't say it's a toy company, we're pretty much going through the streets. I said toy company, we're just facing a bunch of different toys in the area. Thank you for the tutorial, I know how a hammer works. Here we go. So it looks like you just went straight there. If you need any more hints, these things right here will actually tell you. If you want to view the level, you just do that and you can enter free scroll mode. Time doesn't pass here and you actually look around. It's like, okay, so there's a present up there where the arrow is, hammer there and then there. So if I want to get that, present there, I need to hit the blue switch and then climb up. And then if I want the red present, I just need to fall down, grab it, and go. But if I hit the blue switch, I have to go around to hit that. Which means I have to go around this way and then go around that way, so... It'll probably be in my benefit to grab the key first. So, it just depends on how you want to go about it. So we'll start off with getting some points, like so. Probably just avoid that button entirely. We hit B to get rid of the hammer. 
And then we're gonna wait until this oil drum passes by so we can just do that. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I can die. That works too. <laughs> so yes, it walks and talks and says, Mamma Mia. Okay, that, that's how not to do a level. So let's actually try to do this right. I'm doing this pretty much like in a little bit of a blind session sort of deal because I, I, I like this game. It's been forever since I played it, so I don't really remember too much about it. I'm gonna grab this present before I even bother. Okay, so I wanna get that present there, but I don't wanna get hit by that, so I could use the hammer to get rid of it, right? Like that, perfect. So boop, hit that, and then I can grab this present. I'm running out of time, so I might not get like the best high score possible, but let's find out how this goes. Let's go down, that works. Grab, hit the button, and then go around. All right. So with all levels, they have a secondary portion of it, which has an extra present in it, and more that you gotta do. So yes, there is a lot of fire in that area, so that's gonna be a fun time. So let's see if I can get rid of everything possible and get the most points that I can with this hammer. Okay. I could be crafty and get down there before the hammer disappears, or I can just grab a new one. Which, I'm just gonna grab a new one. Okay. Then throw it, grab that, and then I should be done here. And I got the red. So getting the red bonus, like I said, gives you a gold star. If you don't get it, you get a black star. You can repeat the levels as many times as you want though, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. All right, so the best prizes are in these two here, so I just need to be careful. There we go. So no matter which one he hits now, it's gonna be a good prize. So I'm just gonna do this because it doesn't really matter at this point. There you go, I got a one up. So there's gonna be little mini games in between levels. You pretty much get the mini game for each time you get presents. That's how that's gonna go, which again, just counts towards completion. You're just gonna get like a little bonus. All right, let's continue on. This is actually gonna show you how to use these uh, little power lines here. If you hold the up button, you actually build up speed. If you hit the A button, you fling off. Which you can use this to actually get around levels much quicker than sometimes anticipated. Like I could probably use it and get really far out of the way if I really wanted to, because you can kind of aim yourself as you go. But that is probably the best way of going about it is using your handstand. Also, yeah, as you can tell, there's considerable fall damage in a sense, but not really. I mean, if you fall down too far, you, you know, you'll bonk your head and just kind of lose. But I'm not gonna have that happen. I'm gonna wait for this to come by, and then I'm just gonna go down. Try not to land on the spikes. There we go. Big spikes are gonna be painful. All right, so there is a present there. So if I wanna get that present, I can do this and throw it. That's a little too far, so that could be a problem. Yep, it was a problem. <laughs> I could grab the enemies too and kinda of just walk across them if I felt like. Oh yeah, let's see here. That wasted a life, so that could be a problem because that doesn't take away my time. Like, I still have my time that I use, pretty much. So, presence there, that's there. There's a one-up there. You know what, I'm gonna grab the one-up just so they might give me some more points out of that. Thank you. Okay, I didn't quite make that. I need to be just enough. I can't be on the pole part to do the swingy bit. There we go. So I'm gonna grab this, just so I have an extra little bit of assurance here. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again. Here. Okay, so I'm gonna... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do... I was facing the right... Okay, <laughs> if I read this level, I'm gonna be surprised. There we go. All right, come on, come on. All right. That's fine enough, I read it the level. <laughs> I really doubt it. But if I do, that will be shocking. Yeah, see, I did not read the level. Thankfully enough, I can just go back anytime and do them, which, uh, you know what? I'm gonna see if I could actually, really? Can I just like, not? Okay, just, just smash the prize, get, okay, that's fine. 
Get rid of the yellow one. 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 Whoops. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you that you can improve and get things done. So in this case, I'm gonna re just I'm gonna retry their level. I don't need the life because I got the life. I'm just not going to die again. I should be okay. Here we go. So let's actually show this off in a better demonstration. And then I'm gonna probably uh, get hurt or something like that. And yeah, that's not gonna be fun. There we go. Doing a little better so far. Okay. I could potentially. Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say I could potentially just use that, but that's not happening. Okay. Perfect. And now let's actually get through the second part without dying. And that will be great. I don't really need the one up, so as long as I have like maybe over 200 score, then that should be okay. There you go. That was a little better this time. All right, that should hopefully be enough this time to red start. Or red, you know, red point it. Yeah, there we go, perfect. Ah, gotta go through another little mini game. <laughs> All right, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, it's just a stop arrow. That... <laughs> it's just a stop arrow, I can do fine, nope. <laughs> All right, go and run four. It's going to tell me I can hold down to go under. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes the tutorials are really unnecessary, but yeah. So if I want to get through that, it's telling me I can duck, which not going to be needed. Come on, come on, come on. I didn't mean to actually duck there. There we go. So there's only one present on this side. So I want to get through here, just throw the key and let it go. Yeah, as you notice, the timer is actually going down towards the door. That's actually a European exclusive thing. I'm playing the European version of the game because it, like, it's like the updated port in a sense because they they added they didn't really add anything to it. They just kind of fixed things and that kind of stuff. And it's the version I have, so that's what I'm gonna play. Where's this other present? Okay, it's down there. Okay, so I gotta go down if I want it. All right, let's go. All right, let's try to make up for lost time here by climbing these properly. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Now it should be good. Okay, good, because that could have been really bad. All right, and that last trick I just showed off is actually if you're running towards the direction, if you hit back on the D-pad, and then just jump, like hold back and hit it as you're still running in that direction. What will happen is Mario will do a backflip. Pretty much the height of a handstand jump, which is really nice if you want to just quickly get up somewhere. But yeah, that'll do it for about half the world. Oh, five up. Let's see if I can get this five up really quick. Stop arrow to win your prize, okay. Click. Oh. <laughs> That's fine, the five up would have been nice. But yeah, that was about half the world. I'll show off the other half in the next episode. So next time on Mario vs. Donkey Kong, we'll get through the rest of the world one. It's kind of a shorter episode, yes, but this game isn't exactly long or challenging, so I kind of wanted to give myself a little bit of a break. So yes, next time on Mario vs. Donkey Kong, finish world one. I'll see you all then. Mm, banana. Mmm. Any Mario toy. Walk to talk to says, Mamma Mia. Buy them all. Buy them all. Buy them all. Buy them all.